We know uh, Traum, Shoplat uh, has a label for uh, already a long time. Uh, bought many, uh, many vinyls uh, in, in past days, like Extra Welt, uh, Mini Log, uh, Max Cooper, and uh, love the music. And uh, it was not a big surprise for us to send our tracks to this label, especially to this label. And uh, we were very happy when uh, we got a positive answer, like a uh, dream comes true. What drives me to make music is, uh, I think, it's just a feeling inside of me. It's uh, like inspiration, it makes me happy, it makes me feel better. I uh, I need to express myself in any any art form, and the music for myself, I think, is the the highest level that I can get or reach. Or, you know, uh, I love music in general, and that's why I want to create it. I, uh, yeah. I think what's also a good example is that like when I go to uh, my studio, I never say I go to work, you know. If somebody exactly. asks me, so where are you going? I always say that I go to my studio and not to work because for me it's not work, it's just a relief of everything that comes with life, you know, with what's in me comes out music-wise. I started making music when I was like really young, I think I was like 14, 15 or so. I got a turntable from my parents and I started scratching and then I started making some beats for some hip-hop groups you know I was young wanted to be a gangster blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> so that's what I did when I was younger making some beats some uh, hip-hop beats and later uh, of course in the 90s techno came and uh, I was immediately sold started buying records started DJing uh, started giving parties and uh, yeah, that's what I did in the 90s uh, my uh career, let's say, started back uh, to St. Petersburg in Russia, where I originally come from. I was uh, hooked up by jungle drum and bass music when I was uh, around 13, 14, I think. When I was 18, I immigrated to, to Holland, and I don't know how it comes, but I switched up to techno and never left it. A great adventure for me in my life was in the beginning of the 90s. I was like uh, playing at parties and once there was like a guy came up to me and he asked me if I wanted to play uh, in China. And uh, yeah, things got rolling and I went to China for like a year to play in a club in, uh, a little bit outside of Shanghai. And uh, yeah, I learned a lot of the culture and uh, about China. And that was like uh, really interesting for me. I had a really, really, really nice and great time. I think it was when I uh, when I came to Holland after struggling in Russia. You know, uh, I went to art academy where I uh, met uh, a lot of friends, uh, nice artists, uh, musicians, even my wife. And uh, the spirit is remarkable because of uh, probably I formed my you know way of being. And, uh, like you know, I knew what I'm gonna do all my life. Art, music. We made a couple of videos so far. The first video uh, of us was the protoplasm video. We worked with Barbara Makel and Ellen uh, 3D, Ellen Joseph. Uh, the second one was Heat Flux, also with these guys. And, they... and Tobias Krohn, eh? Oh yeah, of course, yeah, Tobias, he Tobias. made the cover and uh, he had like, uh, the, he made the storyboard and he influenced a lot on this, uh, on this video. And uh, the third one was done by uh, some guys from Utrecht, from the Art Academy. He also did like a really great piece of work. And the last video we did was the Rule Hoogendorn remix, and we uh, we did we really made it ourselves. So uh, yeah, what we like to do as Mononaut is like uh, work with a lot of creative, different people who are, like put their ideas in the song we made, you know, and they make it like they visualize it in a sense. Grand Theater uh, is a nice uh, theater in the center of Groningen. Um, uh, I worked there for four years and 
Well, we propose them to make a Traum event with electronic music, some uh, visuals, some artistic stuff, and um, they got warm and uh, they, they want it. Um, so, in collaboration with Traum, Schallplatte, Grand Theater, Mononoid, Lichtpunkt, and Visionetics, we actually made a great party. Yeah, it was really amazing, for sure. Yeah. Something and, uh, to remember. Groningen is a really nice and cozy student city with a population of uh, I think about 200,000 people. Uh, because it's a student city there's like really a lot going on. There are a lot of bars, clubs, a lot of partying and also to be mentioned for sure is that like there are a lot of really really like uh, popular bands going on these days. Like Dope D.O.D. is like a really uh, popular uh, uh, hip hop formation. And you have, of course, Noisia, these three guys are coming from Groningen. And uh, Noisia is also Zonderling. Zonderling is like the techno side project of Noisia, and uh, they made a lot of remixes for us uh, that we are very happy about because they, they make really, really, really cool music. So, yeah, Groningen is just a diverse city with a lot of things going on. We're playing uh, semi DJ, semi live, we're actually using Ableton and uh a controller and an iPad, um, playing our own tunes, but also tunes of uh, other people. And well, it depends what what people want. Like when they invite us, they ask or they like propose, could you play live or do you do a DJ set? So it depends on the situation. And we were playing at the Eurosonic Festival in uh, Groningen, and uh, there we met Niels from uh, the Bookers HC Fire and the Disco. Uh, he followed us for a while and he heard us playing there and uh, he asked us to become a part of his um, artist roster. 